Hello, I'm Laurie Lane Zucker, founder and CEO of Impact Entrepreneur, and we are at the Asia Pacific Impact Investing Summit in Sydney, Australia, and I'm sitting with Eric Brown. Welcome, Eric. Yeah, thanks, Laurie. Thanks. Eric, uh, tell me the name of your organisation. My organisation, uh, Kayla Arts, an Aboriginal Art Gallery in Shepparton. Um, yeah. And what do you do? I, I'm a curator there, so I started out as an artist there uh, 13 years ago. That's uh, so how long we, we, when we started opening our gallery. And now, I, I'm, after five years, I'm, I'm a curator there, so we've been open 13 years now. Are all the artists that you uh, work with and, and show their work, are they all Aboriginal? They are. They're all, all Aboriginal, local Aboriginal artists, and they're all members of our gallery. So, yeah, we um, can sell it on consignment for them. So, yeah, uh, have a workshop uh, right next to our art gallery. So it's a walk walk through gallery to the workshop. So a lot of the art and painting gets done there. At, on on uh, on premises, and uh, you sell their work in 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 the shop. Yes. Yes, we we sell it in the shop. Yeah. Do you also have a website? Um, we've just started up a website. So Kayla Arts. Yeah. Um, we're on Instagram and Facebook as well. So spell that domain name for me. K a i e l a arts. Dot dot, dot com. Um, no, uh, I think uh, .com or .au, .org.au, yeah, that would be good. Okay, and uh, so you're here at the Impact Investing Summit. Are you looking for funding? We are looking for an investment uh, and get it, trying to get an investor to invest in our, our gallery because what we're looking for is to um, get get a screen printing studio and equipment in Shepparton for our artists to screen print there. Um, we've been going to Melbourne for a couple of years, back and forwards, which is um, two and a half hours in a train, you know, backwards and forwards. And um, instead of travelling down there, getting in a motel down there for, you know, three or three or four artists, that's, that's not cheap, you know. And so we're trying to get... Uh, get some help, get invested in getting a screen printing studio, uh, screen printing equipment, um, and, th and I think in that way we'll be able to employ a, a few of our artists to do our screen printing there, so yeah, on grounds. Now, uh, your gallery is a company, right? It's not a non-profit, or is it a non-profit? It is a non-profit, so um, we're trying to go out on our own, um, with, the, with the screen printing, we've been doing screen printing for a couple of years now and it's, a, it's our thing. Um, we've started to do a lot more of and it's getting noticed everywhere too. So, so uh, just so I'm clear, will the, uh, what you're raising the funds for, will that be as part of the non-profit or will, be, will you be creating a, corporate, a business entity? Um, I think we'll be creating a business entity actually. Um, because we wanted to get away from the, the government funding stuff and and do do a lot of our own own stuff. So yeah. And would you be looking for a, an a, a equity investor or somebody to provide a loan? What do you, do you have a, a sense of what kind of capital you'd like to have? I think uh, we want to we want to go. What's that word? We go. Um, What's that word? You go out on your own. Uh, I'm not sure of the word. Well, uh, uh, enterprise. Uh, enterprise. Yeah. Um, yeah. We do want to do that. Um, it, it's it's more of not re relying on anybody. We just even if the investors say we we can buy 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 a lot of your stuff, you know that that's still investing in 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 us as a gallery. Um, you know, getting our art out there, it's it's all about. To me, it's all about um, getting getting this screen printing equipment and studio, so we can employ our own artists to do it 
in our own country, more or less, in Shepparton. So. As you may know, in the impact investing realm, the subject of uh, having mission-aligned uh, funders, investors, is, is really an important part of the conversation. Do you, are you looking for the uh, new enterprise that the gallery is starting to long-term be fully owned by Aboriginal peoples, or are you open to outside uh, part ownership? No, I'd like, it's, um, well, the local community owns the gallery now anyway, so that's it, all, if it wasn't for having the local Indigenous or Aboriginal artists, that gallery wouldn't be there. So, and vice versa, if, if we didn't have the gallery there, where would they put the artists? Where would the artists be doing it? I know as an artist myself, I used to do it in my back shed, but now we have this art artist space, workshop and gallery. It's, um, it's better for me as an artist and, and I think it's better for them as an artist to come in and do your, do your thing in our space. So yeah, it'll it'll be always owned by the, by the artists eventually. Yeah, Eric, thanks for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Laurie.